Hey, my name is Russell Brunson, and I want to welcome you to episode number six. Today we're going to be covering a bunch of really awesome stuff. The first thing I'm going to talk about is building your value ladder. Second thing I'm going to talk about is uh, we're going to make uh, an awesome shake out of this sweet young coconut. And then the last thing I'm talk about is my shirt on my back and how I can advertise for free for all of you guys out there. Um, so come on back and let's get started. All right, so today I want to talk to you guys about a concept I call the value ladder, and something that's really important to any business, and most people don't really think about it. In fact, um, about two years ago, I had a chance, I was out in Fiji, and I spoke at Tony Robbins Business Mastery event with a whole bunch of offline business owners from around the world, and it was interesting, this, I spent most of my time talking about value ladder stuff, because it's something I hadn't thought about, and it's something that if you implement your business, you can see huge, huge, huge results. So this is kind of what the value ladder is. It looks like this. And what happens is, ideally, this is, this is your business. This is the thing you really want to sell people, okay? So for example, let's say I have a $25,000 thing oops, that I want to sell, okay? And that's like my end goal. But the problem is if I walk up someone off the street and I'm like, hey, my name's Russell Brunson. For 25 grand, I'll help you build your business. They're going to look at me and be like, who are you? $25,000? And they kind of blow me off really quick. Okay, so I want, this is what I want to sell, but it's hard to sell that. Because the reason why is people have not received value from me yet at that point. They don't understand the value of what, what I'm offering them. So what I want to do is I want to take something up a value ladder. So the bottom of this value ladder is I'm going to create something like a free report or free CD or something like that. Okay, now if they get that product and they listen to it, they go through it, and they receive value, guess what they're going to want? They're going to want more of that. So then from there I can upgrade them up the value ladder. Now I can charge them, let's say, $97 for, for an ebook talking about the, the topic. Okay, if they get that and they receive value, they're going to want more. So they're going to send up to the next level. Let's say now I'm going to pay $297 for a home study course. If they receive value at that point, they're going to come back up and say, now I want to pay you know, $5,000 for, for coaching, and so on and so forth. Okay? Now, if someone's come through this value ladder, they got this and they receive value, and they got this and they receive value. Every step along the way, by the time they get here, they're going to be really excited, and then it's now very easy to sell someone a $25,000 package. Okay, so we're always talking about how to create a value ladder like this so we can take someone through. Now, if you look at any of my sales processes online, you'll see that I come in with some kind of free CD or free video or free report or free something. They purchase that, and then I try to sell them something at a lower price point. Okay, they're going to buy that. Now, from that, obviously there's going to be less people get this, but there's still going to be a portion to get that. Then I offer an upsell with this, and maybe an upsell with this, and maybe I call them on the phone and sell them this. And if you look at like, like a, a funnel like this, this is how it's going to happen. And up here is going to be your, your, your free thing. And down here is going to be your $97 thing, and your $297, and so on and so forth, all the way down. And so the less people will keep taking all the way down, but there's going to be people that take it every step along, along the way. What's interesting, if you look at like the airline industries or anything else, there's always going to be a group of your people who always want to buy the premium thing, no matter what it is. If you look at the airplane, the, the front third of every airplane, airplane tickets are two to three times as much money. The seats are a little bit bigger, but there's always you know, 30% of the plane, 30% of people that want the higher upgraded option. So if you offer that type of thing, people are going to take it. Okay, so really quick, I want to run this through two other businesses that you're probably familiar with. First one is the dental industry, okay, for all you offline business owners. Um, so a couple years ago, my wife and I got a postcard in the mail for free teeth whitening. We were so ecstatic. She so came in and I went and got my, my free, teeth, or free teeth cleaning. So I'm getting there, the dentist is cleaning my teeth and doing a bunch of stuff. And after a few minutes, he looks in there and he said, hey, so Russell, are you a smoker? I said, why, why do you think I'm a smoker? He said, well, your teeth are kind of yellow. Um, you're, you know, I just figured you're, you're a smoker or something. I'm like, I'm not a smoker. He said, well, if you want, for $3,000, we can build you these whitening trays. We'll put it in your mouth and make your teeth white. I was like, please do that. So boom, he took me up his value ladder and got me for three k for, for teeth whitening. And a few minutes later, he's working my teeth again. Austin's he's like, hey, did you used to wear braces? I'm like, yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, I could definitely tell. All your teeth are starting to crowd back again. I'm like, are you serious? They're crowding back? He's like, yeah, they're crowding back. We need to fix those. I'm like, well, crap, what do I do? He's like, well, we can build these retainers for your mouth. They'll get your teeth back straight. You know, it's going to be an extra $5,000. We will build a retainer for you. Boom, retainer. And after I left the, the teeth cleaning place, the next thing he said is, hey, in six months from now, let's come back. Let's clean your teeth again. I signed up for a continuity program. But boom, you saw I came in for free teeth cleaning, and I left paying like seven or $8,000 um, for, for, uh, for all these other things. Also, their value he gave to me. Was I upset? No, because I received value at this point, and this point, and it's things that I wanted. Okay, the sad part of the story is my wife went in the next day for her free teeth cleaning, and she came back with another $8,000 bill. Okay, now, one last thing kind of for, for your business, I'm going to show is just because um, my chiropractic friend is in the audience right back here, and you're going to meet him here in a second. Um, some businesses, it's harder to look at your, your, your value ladder, so you've got to kind of think about it for a few minutes. 
for example, if you're a chiropractor, chiropractors live and die off of what? The little chiropractors out there. They live and die off the $40 adjustment, right? This is kind of where they, the 40 bucks that you guys charge? $40 adjustment, okay? That's where they kind of live and die off it. Now, the problem with this is that is where their entire business is at. Now, um, a while ago, you guys know that we have a wrestling team that works out with us all the time. One of my buddies, they, have, they had a chiropractor come in that would adjust them all the time, and one day she couldn't come in, and so my buddy jumped online and went to YouTube and watched a couple of YouTube videos about how to do adjustments, and he went and adjusted everyone on the team. And so it took him about 10 minutes of, of, of learning to be able to do an adjustment. So I went back to my buddy who you're going to meet here in a minute, and I was like, how does that make you feel? I'm like, you went to school for, how many years did you go to school for? For eight years, and some of them watched YouTube video for like 10 minutes to kind of figure out what you do in your business. And he came back kind of defensive, like, well, we do a bunch of other stuff. I learned this in school and this, all these other things we learned, all these other things we can do. I said, well, do you offer those to your clients right now? He's like, well, not really. So we came back and started saying, well, let's start building out your value ladder. Someone comes in, comes in for a $40 adjustment. What other things can you offer them? What other things can you offer them for $1,000 or $2,000? All the other eight years of school that you learned, what other value can you add these people that you can send them up your value ladder? Because if they receive value here, they're gonna be more interested and open to receiving value at the higher price points. Okay, now suddenly you add a $2,000 or $5,000 thing into the back of your, your business. Now you can compete with any other chiropractor because you've got so much more um, spending power, so much more money coming in. Now the second part of the story is chiropractic is not really a sexy front end offer. It's not like, the, it's kind of like, you know, people want to go to, uh, to masseuse because it feels really good and it, feel, it makes them feel good kind of a nice thing, or they go to a doctor because they feel like they have to. And a chiropractor is kind of in the middle, like, it doesn't really feel good and you don't have to go, but you should go. It's kind of like this hard thing to sell. And so this becomes a middle of the value ladder thing that's difficult to sell. So you gotta look back and say, what's something we can, we can create to get people in the front, front door and come back through? So with Chad, that you're gonna meet here in a minute, uh, he went through and started creating uh, free massages and things like that where they brought in a masseuse. And this became the bottom of the value ladder. Very easy to get someone in for a free massage. And when you're doing that, if they receive value at that point, for the masseuse to say, hey, your spine's out of line, or this is out of line, whatever it is, it's very easy to create something now where someone will want to send up to the next level and to send up to the next level. So look at your business right now and look at your value ladder. Do you have one? If not, where is your current product or service you're creating? Where is it at? And how can you build things that, that, are, that are more valuable that people will pay more money for and things that are less valuable that are more sexy and exciting and get people in the front door to want to consume your products? So that is the value ladder. Okay, now I'm gonna introduce you guys to Chad Wolner. He's gonna help us make today's shake of the day. So come on back and let's get started. All right, first up, I'm gonna introduce you to my close friend and also my chiropractic, Chad Wolner. And uh, so Chad is gonna help us today make a shake that is amazing. He came to my house last night and made it and I said, you need to come make this on the show tomorrow because this is fantastic. So uh, Chad, tell us about the young coconut. First and foremost, I gotta give credit where credit is due. This is actually a shake that I learned from some good friends of mine here in Idaho, the Brian Holtz. Uh, Becca Brian Holtz, she's always feeding me good food whenever I come and visit them, and this is something she taught me. Um, she's also, by the way, the inventor of the Shrek shake. For those of you guys who love the Shrek shake on episode number one, so uh, we'll give her credit for that as Basically, well. Basically, I just rip off all her recipes and <laughs> please people. Um, no, the young coconut is different than uh, normal coconuts that people see. Um, normal coconuts, you see the dried husk and everything, and typically what happens is by that time, a lot of the nutrients have kind of uh, been lost uh, with these older coconuts. Young coconuts, however, have a lot more nutrients. In fact, they've done studies that have shown that these have antiviral properties and medicinal uses, and so people use these for a lot of good things. So the juice that you get out of here is extremely healthy. It's chock full of really good vitamins and minerals, um, high in potassium, so it's really, really good stuff. So basically, um, and I'm gonna preface this by saying that I do not claim to be an expert <coughs> at uh, opening these, so uh, disclaimer, I, I'm not responsible for if anybody gets cut. Yeah, don't sue us if you get so. cut. <coughs> so for informational purposes only, do not ever make this at home. He, chopped, he basically took a knife, chopped off the top, cracked it out, he's dumping the juice out now into the, into the Vitamix. And after the juice is out, then he'll come and he'll core out the meat of coconut. And you'll notice that the meat in the young coconut is considerably more tender than a regular coconut. It's really, all you do is you spoon it out. So that's that. So now we just got to cut off the rest of this. We don't got a cutting there we go. board here. We got it. Tops off. There you go. You got yourself some nice meat at the top there. So now what you do is you literally spoon out that meat. I think that's really easy, huh? Oh yeah. Compared to regular you. coconut. Dump that, dump that right in. There we go.
got this, you want to create a milk out of this. So first, blend it up. Remember when you go to Costco to get your Vitamix or tell them Russell Brunson sent you? This creates a nice milk. So there we go. So there's your coconut milk. <coughs> so now we add our vanilla almond milk. About a cup. Is that about a cup? Yeah, it's about a cup. Perfect. Add in some ice. I'm the ice man. Top gun. And then uh, agave nectar. I just do it, eyeball it. Do about three or four passes. That's what I call it. And then here's the key. Cinnamon. Put cinnamon in. I put about five or six shakes or so of cinnamon. What is that, about a tablespoon maybe? half a tablespoon. So there's that. Put the lid, lid back on. <coughs> We're Blend getting it close. Up. And there we have it. Coconut perfection. If I can get this lid off. I like to pry it off. Huh? There we go. So there you have it. It's a lot, it thinner than, lot thinner than the other shakes. It's awesome though. Don't so, cup. we're out of clean cups. I think it might be a dirty <laughs> one. Chad, Chad's going to be straight from, we got to wash some cups before he gets his, um, <laughs> but I'm going to drink mine. It's awesome. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Chad. Thanks, you guys. And come back. I got one last thing to tell you about. Okay, for my final thoughts today, um, I just wanted to, uh, first off, make sure you guys post your comments down here about value ladder stuff. I'd love to hear your thoughts about that below. Second thing is, this morning when I'm getting ready for, for the day, I'm putting my shirt on, I'm trying to remember, have I worn this shirt on any of the days that we've filmed episodes before? Anyone who's ever done a daily TV show, it's kind of an interesting um, dilemma there because everyone knows exactly what you wear every single day, and I don't have like 10 shirts, maybe, maybe five. So eventually you keep seeing the same ones over and over and over again. So there's my conundrum. Uh, I had an idea, and I think it's going to serve me and serve you. This is what it is. Um, for all of our Illuminati members, and we've got a lot of you guys right now, a lot of you guys joining every single day. Uh, we're going to be closing it down really soon here. But for all the Illuminati members, if you guys want to log inside the members area, and basically, or just not log in the members area, but just if you will send me a t-shirt with your business on it, I will actually wear that shirt live on the air. We'll promote you. We'll put a link on our site that will be on, that, on our site forever. All you have to do is make a shirt like this. So for example, this is the shirt we made. Um, for one of our companies. I think we made, I think this went to, um, to cafepress.com, which is C-A-F-E-P-R-E-S-S.com. Go to cafepress.com, you can get a free account, you upload your logo, slap on a thing, and then just order one of those shirts and have it mailed directly to my office here. I'll have the address down below. Um, and again, we gotta verify you're an Illuminati member, and if you are, and I get that t-shirt, um, I'm gonna wear it. And every day I wanna try to have some new shirts, because again, I'm, at, I'm almost out of my shirts. I'm on episode number six, and I got like two more shirts, and then I'm done. So please, I want to promote you on the show, so if you send me a t-shirt with your business on it, I'll wear it during the episode. I'll also talk about it. We'll have a link on our blog directly for, um, for your business that'll be there forever. So, sound good? So all Illuminati members, that's how I can promote you live on the show. That'll help me out. It'll help you guys out. Um, outside of that, I appreciate you guys. Stay tuned tomorrow on episode number seven, and then uh, episode number eight, The Ocho, will be a special episode. It'll be my last shirt, so uh, make sure you watch episode eight coming up soon as well. Thanks, you guys, and I'll see you, I'll see you next week. Thank <laughs> you.